Okay guys, this is my project. I have this small model jet engine I want to control with a with a um a regular controller. I don't want to use the radio gear like the the transmitter and the ECU. I want to use something simple so I can test it on a test bench and see how it runs and everything without having a radio or an ECU connected to it. So I found this board, they call it a Adreno DUE board. Um, first thing, this, this, I don't think it's the right board I bought because it's 3.3 and my um, I'm using this RPM sensor just to do some testing and it's 5 volts and I realized this is um, this is a 3.3 input IO ports all of it everything is 3.3 and the manual say if you go 5 volts it might damage the board so let me give you an idea what I'm doing I'm using this this um, RPM sensor which I'm going to switch and use this uh, all sensor right here eventually and um, use it to give my pulse count so I found this uh, this code on the internet but it couldn't work with the board because of some, I guess it's different from the other boards this is the Adreno DUE board DU or DUE and the code was was written for a, a leopard, a, a Dew, Adreno leopard or um, a Uno or the other kind of board. This one is kind of newer, and there's not much information on it. So I have to go in the code and modify it. So this is what I, this is actual finished code that I write that actually work. Um, let me see if we can bring it up here. I don't know what you can see from this, but what I can do, I can actually copy it and put it on a link that you can, if anybody have the same problem that I was having, you can use this code. It's no biggie. I'm glad to help. I'm going to do another video on the, the I2C um, display. That one I have to fight with too. Didn't work for me the first time. The Hello World didn't work. So now I, I got um, Hello World and everything working on this display. So this is my RPM. It's look, it's still have the display look like the other ones, but the code is a lot different. It's a lot of trial and error, and finally get it to work. So let me give you a demo on and how it worked. So let me explain again. I'm I'm using a voltage divider. To um, drop the well, not divider, just just to drop it from five to four point two, so that's good enough for the I/O port. So this is a, a switch which triggered by the magnet from this old um, piston engine, and if, if you rotate it back and forth, it should show um, the count and how much how much time I spent at uh, I pulse it. So I'm going to pause it right now, and there you go, one, two, so I'm just flickering it right now like this, and it's giving the count. So I can do it six to eight times, so that's it. Okay. So once again, what I'm doing with this, uh, with this board, I'm trying to control this uh, this small jet engines here. It's a 12, 24 pound thrust engine. I want to use the same board to do like a fail safe. So I'm going to use a second program to control the temperature. 